Hello everyone and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 0.23 where I'm doing a complete stock run through of career mode. So I'm just going to go through the tech tree and see what I can do to get through it because I haven't done it before. I had previously in 0.22 just installed mods pretty quickly into it uh, because they had been integrated into the tech tree but this time I want to try doing it all in stock to see how it actually works. And uh, this is how much I did in the first episode, so you can see I'm not uh, duplicating any efforts that I have done in the Institute for Kerbal Studies. In the Institute for Kerbal Studies, I try and go as slowly as possible. Here I'm just going to go through it as efficiently as possible while keeping my Kerbals safe. The one rule I have is that all missions must have Kerbals. So there are no probe missions, and this is going to be an added challenge. Now, last time we got a Kerbal into orbit, but what we haven't done is really covered the biomes of Kerbin. We, I forgot to have him step out to the surface sample and do the EVA report when he uh, reached the desert. So my bad there. But let's, let's have them do a little bit more exploring around Kerbin. And the first thing I think we need to do is go into polar orbit. So let's go to VAB and check out the rocket for that. Now I'm picking up directly where I left off, so this is the beta. This is the one that got Bob Kerman into orbit. And we've got a few new parts now. The first thing I want to do is replace this non-vectoring engine with, uh, with the one with vectoring thrust. That's good, but that means that this stage is slightly underpowered. Hmm, so I think it's safe actually to put a smaller tank here to compensate for that. We seem to have enough thrust to uh, to deal with that. But I don't know if this will be enough for polar orbit. I'm going to call it beta 2 and we're going to use our crew member who has not been into any vehicle yet, Bill. And we'll see whether we can get this into polar orbit or not. But uh, if we don't, we'll still be able to visit the pole, so that's not a big deal. The key thing is we want to land Bill at the pole so he can do his scientific experiments. Alright, so let's launch and get him there. Okay, it's a night launch, but we are doing everything expeditiously. I do not want to waste any time. I am not going to time warp. We are going right now. Okay, Bill, I think Bill likes this sort of uh, way of doing things. Alright, I still don't know about the monopropellant. We're going to have to uh, get a Kerbal out to uh, see whether the monopropellant is actually depleted by the EVA fuel. Because we've got something else called EVA propellant. And I don't know if this monopropellant is going to be depleted by it. I. I think I've got an idea for a test of how to figure that out. A test that won't be too dangerous because anytime I take a Kerbal out on EVA it's it is dangerous. Um, so but if I I can just burn the EVA pack fuel on the ground once we reach polar uh, reach the poles and then put get Bill back in and see whether it uh, it depletes this or not. So that'll be the plan. And otherwise, we, yeah, we are just aiming for the north. And yeah, we don't really need to get into orbit, honestly. So, Bill, you might not actually be going orbital. I know you're sad about that, but, you know, sometimes we gotta do what we gotta do, and... And we need that information from the polls so that we can progress in this career mode. Okay, I think we're good to go on our gravity turn. Doing it smoothly, just so I don't get out of practice in fair aerospace. If I tried to do it very quickly uh, here, because it's stock, I might accidentally think that I can start doing that in... Uh, in my modded versions, which would be a bad thing. So better just to do the gravity turn smoothly in all of the all of the 
KSP stuff that I do. Sorry it's dark, but like I said, I'm uh, I'm in a hurry. There you go. I just want to get through the easy stuff quickly. I'm And of course there is the fact that I didn't have launch clamps. So, yeah, that's a bit of a issue if you want to time warp on the launch pad. Okay, I don't want to throttle up just yet. Let's see what our situation is. Okay, I do want to throttle up, actually. So let's go. And still a long ways from the pole, so, yep. Let's go flat, actually. We seem to be going very high. Well, no, not very high, but high enough. Bill's happy. Always nice to see the Kerbals happy. That's that's important. We care about employee satisfaction. Happy employees are productive employees. Right, Bill? Yeah. Okay, I'm sure we could get into orbit. But we really, really don't need to, so let's just keep it to this. And continue. Too bad I can't see what the biome is. I know there's a tundra, or... Uh, there was some other pre-Arctic biome somewhere. Okay, Apoapsis. Let's see what biome this is. Uh, Bill, looks like a good time. We're basically at our Apoapsis. Could you uh, EV report? Grasslands. Huh, no, no, that's, that's not necessary. Zero, zero value there, folks. This, uh, so that's the tweaking. We have seen some tweaks to the science system here. But soon we should be above the Arctic, and then we should be able to get some new stuff. And I want to be in space over the Arctic so that we can get that space one, and then uh, I'll bring it in. Actually, I, I think I can probably uh, decelerate now. I think it's safe. We can just start our descent. Okay, that'll do the trick. Now, uh, Bill, we want the space over the Arctic, so... EV report. Ice caps, yes, that's what we want. Keep that data. All right, Bill's first science. He looks happy about it, good. This is not going to be quite as lucrative as Bob's assignment, but you know, we can't all be the first person in orbit. Maybe somewhere around here would be good. Maybe it's possible to get both biomes, but I don't want the ground to be too rough for him. So I think we'll just stick to the ice caps instead of trying to do anything too fancy. Oh, sudden cut in of music. I don't know what that's all about. Okay, I think this will be fine. Do not try to descend in this angle if you've got daily re-entry, don't do it. It would be a bad thing. Okay, we seem to be around the North Pole, which is why our 
orientation seems to be doing weird things. Yeah, this is a little bit confusing actually, going right over North Pole and having everything turn around. Bit confusing. Now this all looks bumpy, but I know that's just a texture. There is a point where it's not just a texture though. And I have to make sure we don't hit that point. We are aiming for it right now. We seem to be still aiming for it. Hmm. I don't know if we're going to get to the ice cap. Oh, that's the end of that. All right, well, we're going down here, wherever here is. Okay, parachutes are out. SAS is off. We're slowing down, hopefully, to below 100 meters per second prior to parachute fully opening. I think it should be safe to time warp a bit. Okay, parachute open. Parachute open. Ah, there we go. All right. Okay, Bill, do you think you can do the neat uh, aerobatic trick that everybody else has done? Ooh, he doesn't even look like he's holding on to the thing. Yeah, okay, keep the data and get back in pronto. Well, all three of our main Kerbals, Jeb, Bill, and Bob, have done that little trick where they uh, they are flying over the biome. Not quite really flying, but anyway, let's get him down and this time actually do the soil sample and the EVA report. Oop, bit of a slope, yeah. Alright, actually, uh, I keep forgetting, we can do a crew report too, yes? Ice caps, alright, keep data. EVA report. Not enough crew, no kidding. Alright, uh, let's let go here. Walk away. Take surface sample. This isn't really solid ground, is it? Look, it's pretty high up, so I don't know if it's not solid ground. But uh, you got a sample, but fear to dig any deeper because of the startling crackling sound the ice made. You try not to think back on how you landed here. 30? Oh, okay, uh, that's data size. Recovery, 9 science. Why is it less than full, though? Hmm. I don't know why. Okay, uh, EV report. Yeah, the standard. Alright, keep that. Now, what I want you to do, Bill, is burn some EVA uh, propellant, yes. Uh, just just try and go up even though we know you can't do that on Kerbin. So you're just burning, going nowhere. Trying very hard. Yeah. Always happy to burn that propellant. Okay, I think that should be enough. Now let's get back into the pod and see if that affects the monitor belt. Grab and board. No it doesn't. Okay Bill, uh, get back out again let me see how much uh, EVA propellant you've got now. You've got full EVA propellant. Okay, grab and get back in. So they still refuel to full EVA propellant when they get back in. Hmm. Is that the way it was supposed to be? Well, I'm not going to ponder it. At least I know the rules of the game right now. So we'll just run with it and recover the vessel. Well, that was more lucrative than I thought it would be. Crew report. EVA report. 
two of those. And then uh, surface sample, another one. All together, 34.5 science earned, which should be enough to get us another technology. So let's go to the research and development building. All right, so science archives, how much have we done? We've done 21 science reports so far. Uh, oh, I scrolled down and it stopped showing me stuff. Uh, that's, oh. Um, that's a glitch. Yeah. Yeah, this part, when it does this, that's not right. Okay, right. More things going wrong in this version. Oh, wait. No, it works now. Does it? No. If you scroll too fast, if you scroll very, very slowly, it won't do that. Yeah. Oh, no. It still had a little ghost there. But if you scroll very fast, it has a huge chunk. Okay, strange. Anyway, I want to keep science value. Now, I don't know why these were less than full, but... As much as possible, I want to see that value up to the top. None of this uh, half, half baked stuff. Let's say. All right. Um, advanced rocketry sounds nice. General construction has launch stability enhancer. Do you realize in the Institute for Cribble Studies, I still don't have these or struts. It's amazing. Um, reaction wheels don't need the probe core. We are not doing probe anything, but experiments. Oh, I haven't attached the goo experiments. Where is, uh, you, we do have goo experiments. I should do more goo experiments. Okay, so, but it's natural to do goo experiments with these. So let's, let's see now. This has the reaction wheel, which will be really good. This has the science juniors, which will be awesome as well. I'm gonna go with, well, what, what are they called? This science tech and this called flight control. Hmm. I think we, we need to say flight control is more important. I mean, yes, science and everything, but still. Flight control first. All right, let's see what we can do with this. Well, obviously, the first thing we need to do is slip some reaction wheel goodness into this whole equation. Let's stick one here. All right. Now, how do we make everything better? Radial decouplers. And yeah, that, that seems to make everything much better. Let's dump the solid fuel booster and just go with vectoring thrust liquid fuel engines all the way right nose cones are available we could use a little bit more fuel tanks uh, right nose cones is this going to be stable I don't know <laughs> no struts uh, I usually weld these directly to the side but now that we have these these real radial decouplers I don't see why I should um, yeah, th this should be fine. We dump those and light the center one. I think that should be good. Let's add some fins to this whole thing so that we have a bit more aerodynamic something. Um, I don't like the idea of putting them all the way out. Well, that does look very traditional. Um, all right, I'll go with it, but uh, this it's probably not necessary to put them out here because there's enough vectoring thrust to deal with any sort of need to maneuver. I guess we'll have a very highly maneuverable rocket. Hmm. All right. This goes there, that, yes, yes, yes. So what we're going to do is call this... What's after beta? Gamma? I'm not thinking up any fun, funny names here. I'm just going to go with the Greek alphabet as much as possible, as, as long as I remember Greek letters. I probably will stop getting them out of order at some point, but uh, that's what I'm going with because 
we are being as as efficient as possible and thinking up names is not efficient all right uh, we've gone through everybody so it's Jeb's turn again uh, and yeah I think uh, we will get him to a biome we haven't landed on before I think that's the plan so without further ado let's hope this rocket holds together oh wait a minute wait a minute wait 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 uh, goo containers well, we don't have uh... yeah these are 0.15. We don't have any aerodynamic funniness, no far, no deadly reentry. So if I just stick them on here, the parachute should do fine, right? Right? Right. Okay, we gotta go with that. Um. Oh no, it just looks so ugly. Forget it, forget it, forget it. We'll do, we'll do goo when, when we've got the science junior so I can put it down here instead of sticking it up there. Yeah. Yep, okay. We'll just go with this for Gamma. Alright. So, see you on the launch pad. Alright, honestly, I'm not going to uh, inflict two consecutive night launches on you. That's just not fair. Alright, we're, we're going to... Hope that when I restore physics to this, it doesn't wiggle apart. Okay, looks good to me. Uh, make sure everything is go for launch. Everything is go for launch. It only uh, did 1.2 G on the restoration of physics. All right, throttle is up. It feels like it's going to bite me, but um, where are we going? Oh, the the desert's mostly on the dark side, isn't it? But we've got a desert here. Let's just go into a regular equatorial orbit and aim for that desert. All right, Jeb, you good to go? Good to go on that? All right. I've throttled back a little bit because, frankly, this is probably overpowered right now. In fact, this is totally overpowered right now. This for, could probably go to the moon. Uh, so, yeah. Look at Jeb. Isn't he marvelous? Anyway. <sighs> okay, well. Uh, I think we'll still be on these rockets when we have to do the gravity turn. But that's fine because they are vectoring. This is Jeb's first uh, trip to orbit, isn't it? Well, that's good. Okay, gravity turn time. Maybe a little less gentle than I've been doing it. Because we really have been going too high on the orbit so far. And that's not really necessary. Okay, I'm gonna roll a bit to make sure that separation is as clean as possible. Okay, separation. All oh, very nice. Very nice. Well, no question about it. We're getting Jeb into orbit. The only interesting thing is what we can do in orbit. Since I can't see the side, I can't really tell if there's some biome I haven't hit before. I know there are smaller biomes all over the place. I still haven't visited some of the quirkier parts of Kerbin. Because I plan to do that in a rover in uh, the um, Institute for Kerbal Studies. I still haven't gotten any rover parts yet, so all the little uh, secret Easter eggs and stuff like that, I was going to drop a rover on it and drive around them. But I haven't uh, gotten rover parts, so I haven't been able to do that. I don't even know if uh, those particular areas are special biomes or not. I do know that the monolith at the K uh, near the KSC wasn't uh, a special biome because I visited that. I mean, just a stone throws away after all. But with that monolith not being a special biome, I, I don't know if anything else around Kerbin, any of the other interesting sites, if you will, count as a separate biome. We'll have to explore that. And if we do get to rover parts in this quick series, this... Uh, career mode run through, I will probably try that out. 
I'll have to look up where the Easter eggs are though because I have zero chance of actually finding them just by looking at the surface. Okay, not, not a bad orbit. But we can uh, fix this up a bit. Did I say fix this up or make it worse? Probably make it worse. Alright, um, yeah. Well, uh, anyway, important thing is Jeb's in orbit, right? Jeb's in orbit. There's no science to do over water. What we really need to do is a steep descent over the desert, just like we did the steep descent on the Arctic, so that Jeb can... Well, I guess we've already done in space over the desert, so I guess it's not really necessary. That would be a duplication that we won't get many points or any points for. So all we really need is a trivial bit of a reduction in our orbit and we'll be probably headed for the desert. Maybe say 20-ish over there. 23, okay. If we need to do a more of a retro burn on the way down, that's fine. But I think this will be this will be good enough. It's better to overshoot and need to do a little bit more of a retro burn than to undershoot and then try and catch up with it. Life is so much easier without Ion Cross. Ion Cross because no electric charge depletion and I can even contemplate going to the moon on this rocket but we'll probably do that with the goo containers okay yep that's good enough Okay, Jeb, this is your big opportunity to get some of the glory here. Uh, Bill and Bob have really taken a lot of the Kerbal, Kerbin science out, so... Okay, reorient to retrograde. There's the desert. Still going pretty fast. Alright, I'm gonna have him uh, do a little bit of a retro burn here. Let's burn out this stage. But we absolutely must not hit those mountains that I think those are the ones that he's he's met his demise on before, so was it I forget. Anyway. I don't remember if that was one of the YouTube videos I've done or in a totally previous save before he even contemplated doing videos, so tough to remember such things sometimes. Alright, we're out of this stage. Ah, let's just bring it down here. This looks like a cozy spot. Yeah. Oh, we better avoid these mountains. Uh, full power, stop, stop. Uh, this is not good. This is not good. We're st we're we're okay. Stop slowing down and actually speed up. That's what I want to do. Oh, this this turn would so not have happened under Ferrimero space. By the way, yeah, not 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 at all. And deadly reentry would not like me having the capsule aim forward while I'm <laughs> I'm going through this portion. But all right, let's let's. Aim forward and up and try and hit this area here instead of this area down. Uh, none of this. No. 
Uh, okay, well actually maybe we're slowing down fast enough that I should be doing a retro burn. Okay, change of plans. Retro burn it is. Retro burn as quickly as possible. Oh, can we get into a hover? <laughs> That'll be a first. We should get uh, Chevalier extra points if he can power to a hover. Eh, close enough. I, I don't think we need to play around with this right now. Alright, so uh, descending very slowly on a reasonably looking, reasonably flat looking landscape. I don't know what that's all about. What is that all about? Why is there this discoloration here? Jeb, could you lean... No, 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 that... Uh, you got the basic idea down, but that away, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's see what this discoloration is about. I don't know if we're gonna get close to it or not, or whether it's even safe or not. Or whether it's worth it or not, but... Could just be a graphical glitch. Are we over it? Don't particularly like the idea of landing in the graphical glitch though. Or on the mountains. Uh, avoid the mountains, Jeb. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, we're gonna run out of fuel at this rate. Uh, that way, yes. Oh. Well. All right. Uh, right. Good job, Jeb. And I guess that's as close as we're going to get to it. Okay, parachutes, do your thing. Whew. Wow, practically sea level. Oh, is that what's happening? Is it, is it so close to sea level that the sea is actually impinging upon it somehow? I don't know what's up with this. There doesn't seem to be anything interesting over here. I guess it's just a happenstance lake over here. Is it water really or not? Must be water. It looks like water. Okay. We've already done uh, in-flight EVA over the desert, so we don't need to risk Jebediah on that. Well, this should be a separate biome. This should be an oasis biome. Okay, Jeb, could you EVA? You could probably do a crew report too, but I don't know if that's going to be very helpful. We hardly ever get any points for those. Okay, take a surface sample. Deserts, lots of sand and rocks here. You're thankful that you've been in a climate controlled environment because it sure looks hot out there. And the dry, the sand is dry and loose and it looks like you're going. it's going to take some effort to clean your gear afterwards. Nine science, keep it. Still don't know why I don't get the full value on that. but. The usual one for the spacesuit not being necessary and oh uh, well I, I don't think I think this is just a graphic thing I don't think there's well I guess we could just take the surface sample of water if it's water and he doesn't die in it I guess it'll be alright alright let's let's 
Walk him over there. I'll recover him and the craft separately. Well, I mean, we're explorers, so we can't just leave an obvious situation like this and not check it out. Hope he's going to be safe, though. Four meters. We, we are, it is a sea level glitch thing, isn't it? That's funny. Okay, Jeb, are you gonna start? Are you gonna keep walking or are you gonna start swimming? Tell me what biome you think this is. Uh, no, you think it's the same biome? Are you swimming now? I think you're swimming. Take surface sample. Oh, I can't. I have to stow the other one back in there. I can't hold two surface sample. Can we do an EV report? No. We have to go back and stow everything. Oh. Well, we are going to do this, darn it. Don't worry, folks. I'll, I'll cut most of it out for you. Okay, so I walked all the way back to the pod and came all the way back. And now we're going to get our first taste of water in the desert, which should be an oasis biome, but probably isn't because it's probably just a glitch. So, take search for sample, Jebediah. Oh. Huh? 12 science? Normally just 9. But, I did, will, I, will I get the 12 science uh, if I've just returned a surface sample from the deserts? I don't think so. No, I, I, want, I want a surface sample from water. Get out into the water, Jeb. He's he's clearly swimming. EVA report is 3.2. Take surface sample. 12. All right. Well, let let's see what happens when I uh, first of all, de time warp everything, just in case. But uh, recover vessel. I'll recover Jeb first, and then recover the capsule. Okay, so from Jeb we got 15.2, uh, 12 and 3.2 as expected, but let's see about the capsule and whether it's not going to give us as much value. So here we are, first time in this view since I started 0.23. Here's Gamma, let's recover it. Yep. And, ah, well, oh. No, we still got 9 and we still got 2.4. 13.1 altogether. Huh. So that, even though it's still called Kerbin's Desert, I think it's a different biome. Let's consult with Werner von Kerman to see if that's the case. Well, Werner, what is the, what is the idea here? We've got a EVA report. We've got two that say that they're from Kerbin's Desert. But both of them are full value, and they contributed different amounts of science. We have two surface samples, both claiming to be from Kerbin's Deserts. Both of the same value, contributing different science. So, I have to conclude that, first of all, I forgot to do a crew report, didn't I? Yeah, I've, <laughs> I've been so bad about doing crew reports. Um... Yeah, uh, I forgot to do a crew report at the desert, but it, it's hardly worth anything, I think. Yeah, it's it's probably not going to be worth more than 1.5. Okay, anyway, the point is... Oh, it says hidden here. 15 reports, 10 hidden. 4 reports, 21 hidden. So does that mean that there are 21 more? Hmm. And if I just do Kerbin... I don't know if that's just on Kerbin or if it's more locations probably more location well I don't know so two different no this is complicated <laughs> I thought well they should name it something different darn it uh, biomes one report from the water so we haven't done water yet we haven't really taken the surface sample and EV report at the water or the grassland or the highlands or the mountains. But do we really want to be so tedious as to go through this? I'm trying to go through the tech tree as quickly as possible. So hanging around Kerbin's biomes might not be the best thing. 
All right, I wanted to get uh, this next, so let me just research that. I think we need to leave the confines of Kerbin. I think we need to go to the moon. All right, so let, let's do that. Actually, on second thought, I've just looked at the time, so let's do that in the next episode. So this will be the end of episode two. And um, again, we're still picking up steam here. It'll get more and more interesting as we go along, obviously. Uh, this is a completely stock run through of the of the career mode in Kerbal Space Program 0.23. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, do press like, and I'll see you next time.